Shalom, Yashallah. First and foremost, I'd like to say, Baraka Far, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakwa Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and also salutations to all of the sincere Akim worldwide pushing this truth in sincerity. In this particular sit down, I thought it important to revisit the topic of humility, being humble. The word humble, humility, coming from the word humiliated, meaning basically to be put to an open shame. Now, where Lord willing, Yahabash and Yahweh Shai, Razad, the elect of Yahabash and Yahweh Shai. So, in a world of universal deceit, simply telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. There's a lot of truth in that quotation. For us to be coming out here to tell the truth, clearly we're going to be hated, man, because we're, we come in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Hey, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And the prophecy of the Bible is that this society is going to be destroyed for the wickedness that is perpetrated amongst it. Now, people in this society are not going to take kindly to that when you come with that message because they're just trying to live it up in Babylon. They're trying to live good. They're trying to, you know, be stay in that spirit of Bacchus. They're trying to celebrate every other pagan festivity, whether it be Christmas, Easter, you know, birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day under the sun. Because ultimately speaking, they're anti mashiach they're anti everything that the Lord Jehovah and Yahweh Shai stands for. Yeah? So when we come out here and we curse our people out and we tell them the truth and we tell them to get right, they hate us for it. But ultimately speaking, hey, we gotta keep fire burning, man. Hey, it's a we we're great we're great men in the spirit, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai brought us up, we endure until the end. But also, regardless of the fact that we're great, you also gotta be humble, man very humble and lowly because honestly speaking there ain't nothing for the Lord to take away the little knowledge that he's given you that's the mentality you gotta have yeah because there ain't nothing for the most high to take you out and bring up another man in your place the elect are gonna are gonna stand regardless you just gotta hope and fight for your place in that number yeah humility in this truth is very important the scripture says the greater thou art the more humble thyself Yahweh Shai was the perfect example of that when he washed the twelve's feet you know he was the, the only begotten son of the Most High and he was washing his disciples' feet, man. You know, he cursed out Peter when Peter tries to tell him, no, you can't wash my feet, Lord. You're too holy for that. Because ultimately speaking, Yahweh Shai, man, gave us the perfect example in humility, man, which brothers ought to follow. Hey, sometimes, man, going into the word humility, like I said earlier, going into the, coming from the word humiliated, you're going to go through things sometimes. You're going to be looked at as a fool in this world. Your inward man's going to be renewed daily, but your outward man's going to seem like it's perishing, man. You know, you might not have the flyest garments, you might not have the best job, you might not have a woman around you, your family might hate you. But honestly speaking, hey, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai going to reward you for all the hell that you catch. One of my favourite um, passages in the in the Gospels is Matthew's the fifth chapter. And Yahweh Shai speaks on that in there, you know, all those that have given up houses for his sake. <laughs> children, wives, etc. They're going to gain sevenfold in the kingdom, man. Complete number, man. Adequate to yourself. But I'm going to quickly go through a couple of scriptures just to emphasise that spirit of humility, man. Because you've got a lot of niggas out here, man. Niggas that are trying to come up against the apostles and elders. Niggas that, are, you know, the men that taught them. People that are trying to come, and come, come up against the doctrine since they've been kicked out or fallen out. And, you know, they're trying to pervert the truth, man. Hey, it were better for you to just humble yourself, take the L, and maybe Yahabar Shin Hosha would have mercy on you, man. Not everything deserves a reaction. Anyway, I'm going to start from Sirach, the third chapter, the 18th verse. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, and it reads, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favour before the Lord Yahabar Shin Hosha. Yo, we're all men in the flesh, and sometimes we go off, but the apostles are there to correct you, man, when you make stupid, silly mistakes, which we all do from time to time. But, hey, a lot of men are in worse positions than where they were initially because of the fact they got rebuked, and rather than just taking the rebuke and, yo, you know, sincerely apologising and working and through their works fixing the issue, they just get uptight and say, well, fuck you then, you know, I ain't down with you. How dare you curse me out? Because a lot of men are on that high horse and no man can't tell me nothing. But ultimately speaking, man, the apostles are our spiritual fathers. And so, of course, they they have it within their right to tell us when we're going off according to the scripture, man. Because, yo, they are our spiritual fathers, man. 
you know, the most high has ordained those men to teach us. And in order to, 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 to fully gain the most from them, you gotta have that humility. You gotta know like, yo, these men are the teachers, man. I'm a student and I ain't on a level, man. You know? Hey, Matthew's the twenty third chapter and the eleventh verse says, Hey, but he that is greatest amongst you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Now what you gotta understand is that yo Scripture just said that he is, uh, is the greatest amongst us, shall be our servants. Hey, the apostles and elders of great most of I'll say it straight, have served us explicitly well. How have they served us, you might ask? Giving us that constant flow of food, man. You know, babe, you know, we're like babes in this, and they're giving us that constant milk, man. You know, giving us the true understanding and the true breakdowns on a constant basis, keeping us fully fed spiritually, man, with this truth. They've served us, man. They've given us a great service. And that's why when it comes down to doing things that you should be doing lawfully, like paying your tithes and, you know, giving true double honours and actually giving the apostles the respect that they deserve, yo, you know, it shouldn't even come as in... It shouldn't even have to be a thing where you're told to do that. That should just come natural. Of course, you've got niggas amongst, amongst us as well. People that don't actually genuinely show love or any sort of genuine respects probably don't have respect for themselves. But, yo, man... If you call yourself a man of the Lord, if you believe that you're truly down for your heart, Bash and your heart shy, exercise humility, man. <laughs> humility. The scripture says that the Lord hates a proud look, man. And yo, what's the one thing that the most high what's one what's one of the, the things that the most high what, what most high loves, man? Humility, man. The most high draws close to the meek. He said the meek shall inherit the earth. And in fact in Zephaniah, the second chapter and the third verse it reads Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's anger. Because yo, I'll say it straight, I speak for myself, I'm not, the, the, I'm not perfect. I fuck up from time to time. I've not had the, 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 the most perfect life before I came into the truth. But honestly speaking, I like to, to, to think, I'd like to think that I exhibit the spirit of meekness for the majority of the time you know because at the end of the day like i'll tell you straight i'm not perfect but i like to think i exhibit the spirit of meekness and in that i'd hope that your how wash me how shy would have mercy on me man for the fact that i'm just i'm out here trying you know sometimes i fall short sometimes you know I'm, i make it but yo you know for the most part I've got a sincere heart and i put in the work man humility i've got it to where people in my old workplace would you know would look at me like you know this nigga crazy and uh, hey, bro, you know, Jacob going through that man talking about what's he doing out there on Oxford Street preaching? Why is he not working? How can you let your boss see you like that? How can you let your family see you like that? Hey, hey, our families look at us like we're a humiliation, man. Because they look at us like, why are you not going to church? Why are you not going to church? You know, some brothers have been to uni, but some brothers that ain't. You you uneducated black man. You know, that's how our families look at us. Like the off scour. Like because of the fact that we're against this world, we're not on their level, man. But it just goes to show that, yo, our families are in the spirit of Egypt, man. You know, going down for fit to Pharaoh for help. And, yo, you know, you got to take it as a good sign. If you're here holding the fort, fighting a good fight of faith, honestly speaking, you've probably, you know, come back in the, in the past life from of doing, you've probably been doing that in your past life also, man. You know? Hey, take, 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 take great pride in that. In Sirach, the second chapter, it tells you to um, be great, cheerful when thou art brought to a lower state, for gold is tried in the furnace of adversity, you know, an acceptable man, man. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. You're going to be tested out here, man. You're going to get your heart broken, you know. People, you're going to get betrayed by women, friends, family, so-called, you know. But, yo, you got to have the mentality of, yo, the Lord, like, your heart bashing me, I was shy, got me ultimately. In Psalms 34 and verse 18, it says that the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saving such as be of a contrite spirit. Yeah? Contrite spirit. That's Psalms, the 34th chapter and the 18th verse. Let's go into the word contrite. Dakar. Dakar. Strong's H, 1793. Dakar. Dakar. It doesn't really give me a definition. But you get the point. Contract basically going into being you know, lowly, humble, meek again. Yeah, it says that the Lord and he saveth them as saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord Jehovah Shemihah shall deliver out them out him out of all of them. He keepeth his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Oh. So like you read that Psalms 91, man. Oh. The Lord's going to dwell with his elect. The Lord's going to look after his, his men. And we hope to be a part of that number. That's why we earnestly fight the good fight of faith. You know, do what we got to do to hopefully make it on that chariot, man. That's what Paul said. He said, yo, Second Timothy 4 and 7, Paul himself said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Yeah? That's the mentality that that great man had, man. Like, yo, the Lord, Jehovah, Shemihah, Lord willing, will reward me because of the fact that I've fought the good fight of faith and maintained it with his word until the end, man. you got to earnestly believe that Jehovah, Shemihah, is going to reward you. And the only way you're going to do that is by putting yourself out there, man, just saying, yo, Lord, I, I give my all to you, man, you know, in, in, the, in the truth, man, not in that wicked-ass Christian spirit. you got to know that, yo, Lord, I'm ready to go out riding for you, man, in the spirit. And when you come back, I'll wash me, I'll shout, I'll I'll be a member of that Alex. And, you know, I'll be one of them, them fishermen turning to hunters. I'm down to go with you in the spirit, Lord. Yo, that's the mentality you got to have. Humility, man. Yahweh Shai was the ultimate uh, exhibit, exhibit of that humility. Because he died not only for his sins, but for Israel as well. He had it to wear. He was the son of the Most High. He could have called down legions of Rome, on Rome. Yeah? But he knew it wasn't the time as of yet. And he he bore the sins, man, of Israel. He allowed for that for himself to be crucified so that we could be saved. He took it when then the Roman centurions pierced his side, you know, when his own people said they'd take a thief over Yahweh Shai's freedom, man. You gotta understand that Yahweh Shai was humiliated. The scripture says he was despised, hated from hated among men. It's not a joke. It really ain't. Ephesians 4 and 2, yeah. In fact, let me start from 1. Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord Yahweh Shai, beseech you, beseech you, that, you, you, you that you walk worthy of the vacation wherewith you are called. Scripture says, make your bodies a living sacrifice. Like I mentioned earlier on one of my other sit-downs, your body belongs to your heart, Shai. So fight the good fight and do what you got to do for the Lord. With all loneliness and meekness, with long-suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavouring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Yeah, fight for your brother. Proverbs 27 and 17 says, As iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Ultimately speaking, brothers, we need one another, man. We're all that we got out here. We all that we got out here. Your how about you? How is only dealing with his elects, man. Yeah, and we're a small sanctuary scattered across all of these different nations. But you gotta understand that the only thing that's gonna keep us together is a contrite, humble spirit, man. Because amongst the truth is rank. Not everyone can be the head of the camp. Not everyone can be the greatest orator. Not everyone can be that guy. You might have to just hold up a sign until the kingdom come. You might be reading. You know, you, you know, I mean, of course, you know, you don't get lukewarm. You fight a good fight and you grow in this. But you got to understand that the Lord's allocated everyone's lot. Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Yeah? Hey. Could get scriptures all day. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is only dwelling with the with the meek, man. Yeah. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is only dealing with the meek, and that's the beautiful thing about this truth is that we're gonna be beautified out here, man. People are looking at us like, 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 like we're nothing, and really and truly, yes, we are nothing. But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel, man, Yahweh being the heavenly Father. But Hashem meaning in the name and Yahweh Shai being his son are going to redeem Israel, man. The elect first and then the whole nation afterwards. Yeah? First Corinthians 1 and 27. We ain't nothing in this world. We're looked at as pieces of shit, you know. But, hey, the Lord's chosen the foolish things of the world to despise, despise the wise. And that's what I'm going to finish up on here. Luke, I mean, first Corinthians 1 and um, I'm going to start from 28. 26, sorry. For you see your calling, brethren, 
how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and the most I have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised have the most high chosen, yea, and things which are not which things which are not not to brought, bring to naught things that are, that no flesh shall glorify in his presence. Humility Humility, that's what the Most High is teaching us, that we ain't nothing without, you know. That's humility, yeah. The Most High, it says in verse 27 that he chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. But, hey, you, done, you, you already know that Esau ain't going to be humble with it, man. That's why he's going to have to get put down, yeah. you got to have that mentality of a child, a young child in this, man, eager to learn and, you know, with no malice, Luke ninety nine and forty eight says, "I'll start from voice forty seven. And Yahweh shall perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, receive of me. And whosoever shall receive me, receive of him that sent me. For he that is least among you shall be shall the same shall be great. Yeah. Hey, hey you don't know what's in the Lord's plans. You don't know how great He's gonna make a man." But yo, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Ratzah, man. You know, we all make it because yo, there's a lot of men that are falling out of the truth. There's a lot of spies, but Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai dwells near Jacob, man. Protects his man. But trust me, man. A lot of hey, a lot of hell's gonna come, and the only way you're gonna overcome this is if you're on a good side of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. The, the God of the Bible, man. Our our our, our heavenly power. Yeah, stay humble because yo the Lord loves humility but despises pride. And I mean, who who likes a prideful look? Who likes a prideful person? Ain't nobody out here that gets down with pride. Yeah, stay humble, man. Learn to see the beauty in the struggle. And even if you get humiliated, humiliated, pray to the Lord and thank Him. Have the spirit of the disciples in Acts the fifth chapter, twenty nine verse on down. That's a rock too. Yeah, be like Daniel, you know. Staunch, get, even if you get thrown in a den full of lions, know that the Lord's gonna deal with you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know. I mean, it's easier said than done, but yo, know, let Yahweh, show me how shall be found true, and every man a liar, man. Stay humble, brothers. Hey, embrace that humili humiliation if you're doing the right thing and getting cursed out for it by these wicked ass niggas. The time is gonna come, man, when the judgment's gonna rise up. So I'm gonna leave it there and say Baraka Far Yahweh Bar Shum Yahweh Shai, the born of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and then Shalom Akiel, Shalom, Shalom.